Well, John 316 Mission collecting food donations to provide Thanksgiving meals for thousands of people this year. The annual drive is happening at more than a dozen locations for the next couple weeks. News on 6 is Meredith McCown live from the Family and Youth Center. Hi there, Meredith. Hey, good morning. Yes, this is one of the drop off locations for the Thanksgiving food drive, and it's also where food baskets will be prepared for uh, to be handed out during the week of Thanksgiving. I am joined here this morning by Reverend Steve Whitaker with John 316 Mission. Steve, tell us about uh, the need this year and for the food drive. Well, I think the, the need is a little deeper. I think people are aware of what's happened in the last year. We've had COVID for a while. A lot of people have not been able to work. Some people that were on fixed income. Are, are struggling, I'd say, pretty deep these days. And so we've got some pretty severe problems in our community right now, especially people on fixed incomes, people have been working for a while. And you said it's about 25 to 30 percent what you typically have for donate as far as donations, what you're from the goal. Is that correct? I've got about 25 to 30 percent here now. Right. And so I need a whole lot more food. Oh, it's almost about 100,000 pounds of food wow. that we distribute during that one week. And so it's a, it's a big deal. And while you look around, you see a lot of food. I've got you right in the middle of what I've got right now. And so it's, a, it's still a serious thing for us. Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit about the items that you need. So we've okay. got a box right here. I do have a box right here. So everybody knows about this. We've got to have stuffing and macaroni and cheese for the kids. That's, that's, a, that's a necessity. And you've got to have yams, right? And then a little green bean casserole goes a long way. It's got to have that. All the necessities. All yes. the necessities. A little bit of corn, maybe cream that. Got to have the pumpkin for the pumpkin pie. That's, That's one of my important. favorites, the pumpkin pie. Cranberry. Got to have the cranberry. cranberry sauce. And I got a lot of cranberry sauce. Still need a whole lot more cranberry sauce. And of course, the big ticket item here it is the, the turkey. And, and yes. people got to have that. Got to have the turkey, yes. Um, well, thank you for showing us this. Tell us about some of the locations. When can people drop these items off and where? Okay, so there's opportunities on the weekend. We ask people to go to the mission's website, john316mission.org, and there you can find out what you where, where you, you can do your food drive next Saturday and the following, next following Saturday. Mm -hmm. However... You can drop it off anytime at 506 North Cheyenne, the main shelter downtown, this site we're at, 2027 North MLK. And then everybody knows uh, if you're in South Tulsa, there's a big truck at 91st and Sheridan at Under the Sun Garden Centers. And they're always great to help us out. All right, Reverend Whitaker, thank you so much for your time this morning. Again, like he said, those three locations open all during the weekdays and on the weekends, but then on those two Saturdays, this coming one, and then next Saturday, grocery stores throughout Tulsa, Owasso, several other locations where you can just throw an extra item in your cart and drop them off right there. I'll go ahead and send it back to you guys. Thank you very much, Meredith, and we cannot miss those trucks. 91st and Sheridan, they were talking about they're out there every year.